This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at fibrous and globular proteins. Let's start with fibrous proteins. Fibrous proteins are elongated molecules in which the secondary structure, that's the alpha helix or beta pleated sheets, forms the dominant structure. They are insoluble in water and form structural components in the body. Here we have collagen, which is an example of a fibrous protein. Next, globular proteins. Globular proteins are spherical molecules that are soluble in water. All have tertiary structures and some have quaternary structures. Here we have an example of a globular protein, which is hemoglobin. Next, we'll compare fibrous and globular proteins. Starting with the shape, fibrous proteins are long and narrow. Globular proteins are rounded or spherical. Next, their role. Fibrous proteins are used for strength and support. Globular proteins are used as catalysts and for transport. The solubility in water. Fibrous proteins are mostly insoluble. Globular proteins are mostly soluble. Sequence of amino acids. In fibrous proteins, there is a repetitive amino acid sequence. In globular proteins, there is an irregular amino acid sequence. Stability. Fibrous proteins are less sensitive to changes in heat and pH. Globular proteins are more sensitive to changes in heat and pH. And finally, some examples. We have collagen and keratin, which are examples of fibrous proteins. Hemoglobin, insulin and catalase are examples of globular proteins.